want to say you want to say you're I'm Lee, you're Ella? Ella. Okay. We're going to explain the journey we went through to get here. The journey began basically 10 years ago, noticing how our parents were aging, what they were going through with their aging process, and that and sort of sitting here saying, okay, they had to relocate. So we started noticing that and having to work with them and sort of in a lot of cases looking after them and sort of more and more as it went on, we realized that, man, we're gonna get old too. And, that, and so we decided that probably a four level split ultimately wasn't where we wanted to be. So I guess that brings us to the point where we knew we wanted to relocate, but we didn't know exactly when. We knew our house needed some work done, but we just had no idea where to go. We didn't have anybody. Who do you talk to? Who do you, where do you find a contractor? Where do you, whatever, right? So there was one day we were sitting at in the coffee shop. I was on the phone with a staff member of mine and took the call and hung up the phone and a couple of booths over, another gentleman came over and said, hey, couldn't help but overhearing your conversation. You're obviously in the renovation business. I said, yes. And so he sort of explained his business and about the different plans, the different ways they do things and everything that sounded, sounded interesting. He gave us his card, his webpage. And he explained about the philosophy that he has working with a realtor. They look at the whole picture and that. And one of the things that he does, which impressed us, I think, was that he said that he is willing to come out and take the time and come out to our place, look at it, pick our brains about what we thought we might want to do if we were going to stay, and he'd give us a cost estimate. In my view, it's so important to assess the needs. It's not about us coming in and yes, Mr. Client, you need to renovate. No, it's about the needs of the client. So my goal was to sit and listen and hear what their thoughts were. I felt that investing in their current home, if they're considering a listing, was not a good idea. I, I suggested that we take the money rather, that they were considering renovating in their existing home for a cosmetic update, rather save that money and allocate that to a renovation, should that be required for a new home that they would find. Well, I was asked by Paul over a Pinnacle to come into this home in Woodlands, that uh, the homeowners want an evaluation. They're trying to make a decision whether they actually should stay and renovate this home or look at actually making a move. And this was a 1978 four level split that was uh, in really nice shape as far as the overall maintenance of the home. It just was very tired and dated. And what we had to really analyze was, first of all, you know, what was the current value? And if this renovation was to be performed, you know, what would be the renovation value afterwards? And it was easy to determine that if we were to do these renovations, the homeowner would have to probably stay a long time actually get that money back if they were to actually try to sell in you know two or three or four years it, it was most likely that they wouldn't get that money back so it was determined that it was it was probably a fairly easy decision at that point that uh, making the move to another location would make more sense one of the things that was impressed us is rob showed up this is our very first meeting he showed up with a complete home evaluation done already when, when rob was starting to show us units through our, what did he call it, the narrow point of view that we had um, <laughs> in, the, in the area, we, were, we, we restricted them. Uh, the challenge there was when they gave me their criteria. It was a very thin criteria. Uh, there was very particular areas of the city they wanted to be in. They actually really wanted to be very close to where they had been residing for many, many years. And there were certain condominiums that they were looking at, very particular buildings that they felt were the, the right buildings for them. So we had to go to work and actually try to find this. Uh, and for us, we take that on. That's just part of what we do when we arrived we quickly realized that a renovation was definitely needed. Uh, the, the condo was a uh, beautifully located in the building and it had all the right bones. It, it just had everything also dated. So that's where we were able to uh, also bring in Paul from Pinnacle once again to, before we made the offer, to actually look and see, you know, what should be done here, what would be the costs, and of course, we had to factor that into, you know, what the numbers work on the offer. And one thing that was, to me, was an incredible selling feature, again, of using Paul's services, was right up front, he volunteered. Whenever we had a place that we saw that we sort of liked, 
we could give him a call and he would come and he would check it out. He would look at it and give us his professional viewpoint on the bones of the place. What kinds of things might we might want done, what could be done, roughly what it would cost. After we went through the place, we went for coffee with Rob and sat down and, and discussed everything and decided right then and there. If we want it, we better do it now because it's gonna go quickly. The interesting part about this story is it, uh, it ended up that there was actually multiple offers on the property. And we had to really strategize that as to, you know, what would be the right price to pay. Rob checked with the realtor and there was already an offer that had come in the night before. We lucked out. They had put a time limit on their offer of nine o'clock the Saturday morning. So it had expired. They're off. They're off. Yeah. So we quickly put ours in, but Rob, with his experience, he says, well, I can guarantee you that as soon as they get your offer, they're gonna contact these other people and they're gonna sit here and say, okay, we have, uh, we'll, put in, we'll put their offer back in again. So he says, anticipating that, here's what I would recommend you put your offer in at to sort of potentially cut that off at the pass. So that's what we did and we got it. And it was a happy ending. So this turned out to be an absolutely uh, beautiful condominium. Now that it's all said and done, every time I come here, I just fall in love all over again. So very excited for the Whiteheads that they found their perfect home.